Hello everyone, and welcome to me, Alexius, playing this Darkest Dungeon, which is not Dead Cells, which is the opposite of yesterday's problem. Um, last episode didn't do too well, but I have to give you the good news, which is I'm actually capable of recording this right now, so we nearly had no episode whatsoever. Yeah, we, um, we lost a new person immediately, and then we ran away, so uh, I think one of our units flipped out completely, did they not? Maybe that was that one. It's entirely possible that was that one. Uh, but good, we managed to get the Gambler Quirk off of Dismas, which was a problem because Dismas, um, being our original highwayman here, had known cheat and Gambler, which meant there was no way to uh, get them any sort of um, stress relief. What are you doing in the sanitarium? Are you in the abbey? You are going through meditation. Okay, fine. Uh, you can, people will stay in um, the place sometimes, but it looks like I did that on purpose last time. I can't really remember what I did last time apart from completely fail to go into the Warrens. Uh, well, I, failed. I managed to get into the Warrens. It was achieving my goal whilst there that was a major problem. We know about the survivor list from previous At home games, in wild but... Places. <sighs> She is a stalwart survivor. Uh, we are not likely to need that at any time soon. So, what have we got for us now is full... I mean... I guess we have new people. Let's sort by level. <clears throat> but not those ones first, necessarily. You... I don't need. <laughs> You're not coming with us. Let's, um, let's get these people out of here, because it's confusing me. And then um, sort by level. So all the zeros are up here at the top. We we want to first of all, can we upgrade anybody? Maybe we should do that first. Uh, no, can we actually get you to the no? <laughs> Fine. Um, guild then. Can we upgrade the guild? <laughs> We're just gonna have to embark until we can finally get some things worth having. There is a boss fight already in the ruins. I think I don't want to do that necessarily until we've managed to get the guild and the blacksmith able to improve our people. The other thing is I don't really want to go in the Warrens the Wield or the Cove because we don't have the units. This is the only unit that really has any... Do you even have it? Yeah, Blight and Bleed. So this person has to come with us on everything that involves anything that has blight and bleed in it, which is the cove and the warrens and the wield, really. I mean, what are these like? Battles. Battles. Battle, yeah. I can tell by the icon. I don't know why I'm clicking like this. But this is um slightly longer. So this one's going to have a camp in it. And I was just saying, at least trying to, that I don't necessarily want to do a medium mission because we don't... I don't know if our camping skills were any good. I guess now that we have our original units... I'm still having this clicking problem, by the way. But back. We could probably pick up the original DPSs. Have some actual removal of blight and bleed at the back there. Maybe we take proper healing too. Why are you bad at everything? You can heal one person. You can't do a divine comfort. Well, okay. We have money. Let's spend it. The one thing that the guild can do is to improve your... Actually, unlock things in the first place, basically. So if we do that... Uh, you can't do anything... This is from the back. This is from the back. This is from the back. It's not from the back. This is from the back. So we'll bring you out with completely at the back type... Uh, dealios. So we don't want this, we want this. We don't want this, we want this. And we will add you to the roster in the middle. Very good. Red Hook. Nice. That's the name of the people who made it. Why? I wonder if there's an explanation for these. We don't have enough um, things, by the way, really, to even swap them around in order to upgrade. We, we might do technically, but we might as well just go out on a, a mish. Uh, make a, a mish out of the mish. What? This one. Bring all these back. If we have any equipped, we do not. Um, you do have a stun skill that I tend to use, actually. What do you have? Right click, please. Thank you. 
I mean, we can't use any of these, which is <laughs> the other really annoying thing. We don't have the really good trinkets that allow these units to do well. Um... I'm wondering now if I maybe want to swap these two around and pick up some of these bleed skills that you have. This is a stun. This is a bleed. I think many things in the wheel and the warrens do uh, suffer from bleed, so let's actually do that. We might as well have as many options as we can. It's possible that we're going to be constantly using these characters to um, keep the other ones alive. But, you know, why not? We've got a bit of cash available to us. The other, Oh, actually. You have... Damage versus marked, which we don't really need. We don't use this either. Um, Duelist Advance and point blank shot are actually really good compared to each other and this unit has them and it's the same level so I think even though our original uh, uh, highwayman is available we're actually not going to use it we're going to use this joker instead which is also red hook so it must be just be the, the classes not the individual people kind of makes sense because I like duelist advance and I like uh, what do you call it so it means that this unit can be buffed early on, which allows us to get both of those in. Provided no one's got... Uh, I'm probably over-explaining it. <laughs> Just play the damn game. Uh, no, 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 no. It doesn't involve camping, because you've reset what I selected. This one. Warren's all wield. This gives us bounty hunter and gold. This one gives us grave robber. I don't think we have a grave robber, so... Might as well get some value out of it. I'm not confident, really. Um, <clears throat> I really am not. We will take a whole bunch of this. In fact, just buy all of it, except for that one. Go away. Um, Twelve of those. Maybe just three herbs? Does this... I think this will cure a debuff in terms of stress. There are stress debuffs now, rather than just directly doing a hell of a lot of stress, but... Um, I do hate bringing so much stuff. I think this will do. Let's just play. We don't have enough trinkets for me to even need to forget about them. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. I have deleted the previous episode, which turned out to be 11 gigabytes, uh, by which I mean the, they breed quickly the Dead Cells episode. The but perhaps we can Ooh, slay them even faster. That's helpful. We do have to go this way. But we don't have to go this way. I appreciate the early scout, to be honest with you. I'd very much like to find um, better scouting trinkets, actually. Exposed to a Good killing stop. blow. Good start. Hysterical blindness and a lot of stress. What does this mean? Diseases. Hysterical blindness. Uh. We just have to keep him low on stress, I suppose. Um, you are going to have high resistance to... It's high-ish, actually. It's not that high. But these ones don't. This might be worth... Oh, it's... Rear. If we guarantee ourselves the first go on each round, that could be a big deal. This is one of those sort of factors of the game that I haven't really paid too much attention to, which is when you get to go, makes a big difference. Let me have some of this delicious drink. Oh, now I have to cross my hands over. Um, we will advance upon... If we crit, we kill that. If we crit, we kill that. Let's do some damage. That's, that's full damage, so you're gonna die if I hit you. We could... Yeah, I think we know. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that my favourite thing was effect. Uh, 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 in, in, uh, I'll remember the word in a minute and we'll come back to that. Um, we don't need to heal, but we should. Because of the bleed. I guess I meant enable. I don't really know. Do I. Would this. 
But then this. You're not unholy for some reason. You seem unholy to me. Get some good rolls. It also means that this unit can go back immediately. Uh, although, I really should have changed tracking shot for something. This turned out actually not too great. Uh, oh, there's flickering. This is why we don't record the screen, I remember. Damn it. Well, I have to apologise. Just um, look past it. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it. This just... This game refuses to be recorded, basically. I should have logged out and logged back in again. That's the way it works. Or maybe just, you know, run Windows to do that. But you can't make me. Okay, I'm not gonna. Should we just stun this unit and then it doesn't get a go? So if we go too early, we can get into a position where we just can't can't go, <laughs> which is annoying. Ooh, maybe if we buff this unit, in future this might help us with uh, healing because if if the Vestal gets to go first surges as the enemy we can heal at the start of the round which means that we have a good chance of the next you know, the rest of the round actually uh, succeeding I guess we 10% mate 10% you open this I do appreciate a couple of heirlooms it seems like the flickering on the video is not that bad he says whilst it immediately flickers I I have no cure. The only thing I can really do is um, log out, log back in again, and then that gives me the opportunity to use the original setup that I had, which was actually working. Seems like I'm basically, I can record twice, <laughs> and then I have to log out and in again. It doesn't make any sense, okay? I've looked on the internet, it says that OBS and Darkest Dungeon should work fine together. And yet, here's me running... I'm not even running Wayland, I'm running Exor. So, goodness knows. Absolute goodness knows. We would like to... Maybe we mark ourselves? I'm going to experiment with a new one, because we did quite well in the in previous thing. We whereby victory. we mark ourselves here. Um, you've already gone, so I will fight you. Activate repost. The reason I did it that way. Wow, you're faster. Even still. Stress is okay. Um, we don't have any... We could have cured bleed before, but again, I'm, as long as our dots aren't going faster than our Vestal can heal, which is slightly true, but not extremely true. Um, yes. Brilliant. One shot. Oh, it does leave a, does leave a corpse. I was hoping it would. Um... What was I saying just now? I was just gabbing on. Don't mind a little bit of repost. The repost is such a useful skill that it's just not. What's a boy to do without it? You know. Let's do this. Yeah, that that worked well. Um, it seems to be doing okay for now. Let's heal every. Oh, I need to heal yourself. We're talking about. Good. I would like you to have less stress, but I don't know a way of doing it. So you're not going to, so sod you. Decent. Yeah, decent chance. Give them no quarter. It's a bit of a pest that this one's still alive, but is at the back. It makes it hard to hit. Lethargy. Fair enough. I mean you weren't I wasn't bothered about your speed to be honest. Uh I suppose. This is when you really want a grave robber because your um, camping skills as a grave robber are just amazing because you can cure these diseases in a camp. I suppose we might as well cure this bleed. And it puts us back to full health. There's, I can't see anything wrong with that, to be honest. Bring this thing into range. And then stun it. Getting to go first does really, really help, actually, because it means if we don't need to heal, we have. Um, I'm clicking, thank you. You know, we have skills that can prevent the enemy from taking the turn. 
Does that do both? Because the reason I ask, that was actually really good, Unforeseen. Um, is this says heal 4 to 5. This says heal 1 to 1, self, cure black bleed. So the first one, the first half of that implies that the target, which could be you. So maybe it does both. Um, default party order, please. This might as well be this. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm just going to use everything on it, because now we know. It, it remembers for us. Okay, fine. Just use it then. A sinful behaviour is vanquished. Fear of unholy quirk removed. That was worthwhile. But... You had four? That's just rude. How many can you get? I thought you could only have three. Oh well. Doing better this time than we did last time. And don't we have, I know we have higher level characters, but... Come on. Yeah? Come on. Didn't occur to me until just now. When you, I, I know that when you walk back along a corridor you've already visited, the light level doesn't go down nearly as fast as it did before when, when it was dark. So it kind of implies that the torches that you put, that you light, you're leaving behind. But also, the fact that the light level stays with you implies that it doesn't. <laughs> As the light gains purchase, like we carry the torch into the room because the room wouldn't be lit when you get there. Clear. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which way we go. It's all the same distance and we haven't got a scout. More heirlooms for me. It's doing well. Something is wobbling. Oh. There's a very bright light in the house across the light through my back garden. All on the other side. So it well Terrace house backs onto someone else's garden, right? There's a bright light on the house on the opposite side there. Presumably one of those security lights like you get when a fox walks past the back of your door. I find it hard to believe that any um, security light has ever been set off by an actual burglar. Oh, brilliant. It's not what we wanted. <laughs> um, but there's a tree between me and it. Or rather just a couple of leaves of a tree. Which is annoying. Because it means it's flashing all over me. Um, I suppose if we're going to stun any... Oh, I keep making this mistake, thinking if we stun something, we should stun something that hasn't had a go yet. But they all haven't had a go yet in the next round. So we should stun a thing that... I know... Um, I, I can use anti venom actually. What are we on? One damage per round for two rounds? I will survive. As long as I've got Weetabix, I know how to survive. You have got stun resist, so I don't care. Just kill it. Continue that was really unsport. good, actually. Destroy. Um, and then you get a go, which means you're going to zealously accuse. So probably get rid of that. Corpse, perfect. So the problem, of course, with this duelist advance thing is that we keep leaving corpses at the front of the queue. We we would like to... Um, kill them with plague or bleed. But our best attacks don't don't do bleed, and they are usually very uh, blight, not plague. They're usually very blight resisty, so... <laughs> okay. I'm I'm happy with that, because now I was talking about stress before, and this chap's stress is pretty high now. Um, no. What? Stop this. Uh, I would like you not to have a go if possible. Um, I'm also glad that a crit of that magnitude actually prevented the 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 the, the corpse. I'm assuming that it did so much damage that it was more damage than the enemy plus its corpse. That was okay. I didn't mind that too much. Um, this might be worthwhile. That was worthwhile. So now we can just. Do this. No one's got a blight or bleed to cure. I'd like this not to die. So 
so that we can get another go. Yeah. Just to do that. Again, in future, this is going to be so much better because our vessel is going to have those um, super good trinkets. <laughs> right now, we don't have them, so we're doing our best to keep on top of what is turning out to be reasonable amount of damage. So clearly in view. I'm trying to click, but it ain't working. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Nice. And then this way. Tread carefully. Uh, you're all right. I'll pass on that. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Then who made the tunnels? Excuse me? Do you understand how settlers work? Uh, you get to go... These things hurt, so I'm going to give you the the next go, basically. Um, we'll give ourselves some... Riposte. Always worthwhile. And then you can gravely nibble me as much as you like, darling. Oh, these don't leave corpses either, which is grand. Do that again. Okay. Somehow, the... The... the <laughs> highwayman here, despite being presumably designed to distract attention... Distract... Dis, dissuade attention? It's taking all of the damage. We might as well. Another abomination. Kill something over... Hands. Um, but doing spreading damage. Don't don't spread damage. Kill a unit because if that unit gets another go, that's more damage on you. Let's just blast this. Yeah, we haven't got anything worth you know doing. You can heal everybody. For one, perfect, brilliant. Sedated. Grand. We don't have any bleed, I think. This is a, this is what we needed to bring. Slow and more killer. than these, I think. Because obviously these are blight. I didn't pay any more money. I wasn't sure if I wanted to uh, pay any more money to unlock even more skills on even more units. But it probably would have been a good thing to have uh, given that unit bleed rather than blight in the warrants. But we're doing okay. I wasn't confident and now I am. Did I bring a bandage? No. Not too many escape. Appreciating how many things have heirlooms in this run because it's what we needed. It's why we're here. Not <laughs> need the money or the trinket. We need the end. Ooh. This is grand. Right. Let's do this correctly. First of all, we're going to make sure that you are going quickly because you're going to need to shoot something in a minute. You are going to try and stun... I was going to say this, but you can't. Stun this so it doesn't get to do the drums of debilitation. We don't want this one to have a go either, but we don't have a choice about that, so what the heck ever. No point in attacking the one that is stunned. One of these is going to leave a corpse. It might as well be the second one. Okay, well... Take it back. <laughs> I was planning on one of them leaving a corpse, which is good boy. Good boy planning. Now there's uh, plenty of damage on the board. You don't get a go, which is happy. You might cause me a disease. You dodged it, perfect. And then you can attack you if you want to, perfect. And then you die. <laughs> what is this? See, that's the thing now. You got like, point blank shot. Again, <laughs> it's really good, but we didn't need you to do that. If only you'd managed to kill that thing, this thing would have got the point blank shot, and we'd be, you know. Streets ahead, we'd already be done. That's fine. That might have been a good opportunity to just buff ourselves, to be quite honest. Um, here, have this. Good. Pretty happy with that, actually. That's that. You're dead. That's it. Uh, stun this. Not like you having a go. Prefer that one having a go to that one because the diseases are worse, basically. Um, smite it. Perfect. And then it will die to the light, but it'll take two rounds. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And we can shoot that. Good. That is a successful run. I do apologise for the uh, tearing that's been happening on the video. It seems to be coming and going, so I don't know what's causing it. Apart from the fact that it's bad. Um, but it's happening. And what I'm going to have to do is log out, log back in again. And then that should 
let me use the original version, which was capturing the capturing the window, not the screen, and that was working fine. Skill Gambler, pretty good. Oh. Gambling does something. That's interesting. Yes, some of the um, some of the places you can My put people in order to recover to stress. Boundless. How are you still just badly off? That I must rely upon you to oh, you're it right. What? Oh, you must have just chilled out. I guess you just recover stress just by not doing anything. Yeah. Um, some of the things you can put people in for de-stress can also have secondary effects, like you can win stuff at gambling and you gain a trinket, for example. That was a, a decent one. Let's have a look mm. at our trinkets now. We have this um, Bounty Hunter one, which is grand. Arbalest, Antiquarian, Grave Robber, which we'd like one of. Let's see if we've got a better um, better option in our roster. We can have a Hellion back, even though I did really badly with it last time. Hmm. So this is a pretty decent setup because what you can do is you can put your Hellion in the second position, break through to begin with, which does debuff. But most of these work from the second spot anyway, but you can break through to use Iron Swan. Or bleed out if you want to buy that for this particular unit. The only trouble is it's it can't hit very many things. right? So you would want to breakthrough early so that you could hit the rear one and if you don't ever want to hit the rear one then you've got two useless skills um, but if you had also a um, highwayman that could do a, a duelist advance you could keep swapping over although of course every time you do the uh, <laughs> breakthrough you debuff yourself which is kind of annoying about Hellions that everything you do is just debuff yourself um, Except this one, which is buff self, but doesn't do any damage or anything else. And heal 1 HP, great. Uh, I don't really want any of these right now. I like playing with a Hellion. Someone gave me some advice, which was Hellion and something else. But we'll do that in the next episode. We'll see what we've got going. Uh, do I really want... I might as well put you at your level 1. So I'm going to let you have some stress relief. Uh, Deviant Tastes. He's not allowed to visit the brothel. That is fine. You can go and visit that instead. Um... And you, if we get a better, I mean, I'm kind of just waiting for an antiquarian to show up so we can fire you. <laughs> but I don't know. It depends. If you chill out over time and just become useful again, so be it. These ones that I've leveled up a bit, I've got a bit more of an investment in. So, can we do this yet? Yes. Is that what I want? Yes. And I can't do that, naturally. And this one? 14 of those. What, six? I can probably be persuaded to convert several of these into even more of those. Yes. Just to do that. Every and then we can start spending weakness. money. The you need to get rid of that disease as well. For what you will face. I'm just going to spend all the money on everybody. The people who have been good for me. This one in particular has done excellently well. Um, we didn't use that very much. I like point blank shot. I like duelist advance, but maybe we start taking something like open vein and That'll do Yeah, it's got damage versus marks which current uh, synergizes nicely with um, the Bounty hunter yes bounty hunter. So you can do weapons and not armor this will give us even more damage. And then, I think in the next episode, we'll decide who to take with us. And as a result, who else to upgrade. I, I did like the idea of buying some more um, uh, skills for this unit as well. So, we might just do that again. Because everyone's on basically no, <laughs> no stress. So, we could do that again. Or we could go and see if there's a... You know, an option in the ruins, which is a bit of a lower stress environment, but nah. Everything's a medium one. That might be okay too. In fact, if you do it right, you can get a medium one that causes everyone to come back with less stress than they left with, because you didn't get much stress on the run, and you camped, which took stress away. But that's for the next episode, and I'm going to leave you 
watching this screen until then. So thank you for watching. I apologize for the weird screen flicker, which seems to have stopped. So I'm going to suggest maybe I'm going to keep recording like this in the next episode. If it happens again, I apologize in advance. But thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will subscribe as a result of me being so good at this game. And I hope that you will leave a like to tell everybody else that I'm really good at this game. But until the next episode, thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you.